Hello, Dr. Mintz here. Quick little case, CT of the pelvis. This was a renal colic protocol. Kidneys look pretty much okay. Oh, don't forget to look at the adrenals. Always look for those little adrenals. There's one here. See that little line here? You go down and it's got two legs, two limbs of it over here and here. And then here's part of the right adrenal. And you see it has one limb there and the other limb off this way. Okay, so no stones, no obstruction. Let's look in the pelvis. What do we have here? Ovarian cysts, perhaps. Big fluid-containing structures in both adnexa. Oops, guess not, it's a male. Prostates don't go along with ovarian cysts, so what else could this be? Bladder diverticula. You can see beautifully the communication of this large diverticulum with a bladder. And even a little bit of a communication here that's obscured by some volume averaging, but I think there is a communication right here. So this is, the patient might have had some cystitis. This looks a little bit thickened. That squeaking sound is Max in the background playing with his ball. So this is an example of bladder diverticula. They're fairly uncommon. We don't see really nice bladder diverticula like this <laughs> very often. Good boy, Max. Uh, in theory, they can predispose to stone formation because of stasis. They may develop stones in them. I've never seen that. I don't see even bladder diverticula like this very often. So there you have it, bladder diverticula.